Hi, guys. Yes, I see you guys were asking where I had gone. I was busy chatting with Charlotte and Sarah, who are my who are on here. They're going to paint along with me, and I hope a lot of you are also going to be painting. So let's say hi to Sarah and Charlotte. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. Um, I just... Just to let you guys know, if you read the little uh, things I've been putting on Facebook as well as um, Instagram, I have decided that I'm only going to be going live starting after tonight. It's going to be every second and fourth Tuesday of each month, and they're all going to be centered around painting because that's what everybody likes. And I mean, you like my other stuff too, but I get I'm getting more feedback on my paintings and they want to see more of it so this is an easy time for me to do it and to give you instructions so yeah. as you can see i've got four screens here my uh the painting i did a couple of weeks ago that you guys got to see is on the one screen and then i'm going to be painting on this one and of course we have the beautiful sarah and charlotte and they're painting over there we've got and then you guys one yeah, they have their canvases. And did you guys have canvas boards? Yeah, we have just the thin boards. You can get these at the Dollar Tree, but I... Yeah, that's what I got. I had gotten packs of them at some point in the past, and so I still have a few different size variants. These are 9 by 12. Um, This one is 11 by 14. Yeah, So, but 9 by 12 would work, right? Yeah, yeah, it definitely will. That's I paint on that size all the time, especially cool. if I can't find the big ones. I was shocked. I went into my Dollar Tree the other day, and they had a whole box of them, so I grabbed like four of them. Was it a dollar twenty-five for it? Yeah, that's a really good price for a canvas. I feel like. Yes, yes, definitely. Of course, now if you're looking for actual canvases, there's two places that I get actual cool. canvases at a really good price. You can get them at Joann's. They have them on sale all the time. Or you can get use a coupon. And I get a box of seven of them. And it's like $12.99 or $13.99 for seven of them. And those are the great big giant ones. Oh, wow. I mean, they're, like, they're, really, they're like twice the size of this one. Let, and me, then, uh, let me read the chat to you really quick. You guys go ahead. I'm going to start on the painting. Okay, and I'm going to be using what Miss Connie I'm, said so that we can follow along. Okay, because we're going to paint, okay. we're going to paint I'm, along with you. I just want right. to get to the chat because it's starting to go, and I don't want to miss stuff. Um, okay, just so that everyone knows, I'm going with the bright blue first, or the light blue first. All right, roll up your sleeves, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Just be prepared for a shorter Sarah. She's just yes. a shorter me. Um, okay, so Liz Sanabria and um, Carmen and Jill were here for a little bit before we even came on, and we're all mm -hmm. saying hello and chatting it up. And then Julie Bay came on, and, and she told uh, she was talking with Liz Moore, and she said to say hi to Connie, which is so cool. Awesome. Julie Bay says, I hope I don't flunk this class. I can't draw or paint freehand to save my life. Well, you know what? You're in the right place because Connie's an excellent yes. teacher. Exactly. And uh, go ahead. Yep. Um, at Leilani, Grandma's Gone Crafty's here. Um, she says hi to all three of us. Rhonda is here, and she only says hi to Charlotte. Uh. <laughs> um, Liz says hi to everybody, including me and you. <laughs> me and you, Charlotte. <laughs> and Rhonda and Julie and everybody. Okay. Awesome. Dip into the water and then dip into the paint. But do yes, just try not to get too much water on your your paint. Yeah. Well, we're our our my gouache has dried out a little bit because That's a okay. little a little short version of me got into it. That's um, okay. <laughs> that works. Everyone saying hi. Um <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right. Ju Julie says, Liz and Rhonda, the troublemaker. Yes. So what is, oh, you're doing what she's doing. Just what you're doing, Connie. She's ru running. The, that looks really pretty. 
Now, Good. Charlotte's using almost like a periwinkle blue, which is very pretty for the sky. Awesome. Cool. Just and to let everyone know, I'm mixing this right on the canvas like I usually do. So I'm dipping into, and I can show you, I mm -hmm. am, let's see if I can get it. I'm dipping into, I've got light blue, the white, and the dark blue, and I'm dipping into all of them. And that's where I'm getting this variation of color. Go ahead. Um, and then Rhonda says, maybe Liz is not a troublemaker. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, one girl is so silly. Once you go, once you get the, the, you're going on it, and if you want a little bit more of a cloud, you can I go in. Cloud already. Charlotte okay. wanted to show me what hers is looking like. That looks awesome. To get a, an actual cloud, there's a couple of different ways that you, you can do it. You can pounce it like this, can I use yours? and then go like that, or like what I do is I crisscross and I just put the color in and I can do a long one. Because these are bigger brushes. And oh, but she said gonna, the different blue. Okay. Yeah, I've got all three blues. You're going to want to um, get the whole canvas completely covered. Oh, I forgot that the canvas doesn't like the gouache paint. Yeah. We should have, we might need to use uh, acrylic. To add a little bit more water. Yeah, we, might, we might need to either do a. Well, it's okay. Let's we'll see how it goes. Are we painting all the way down, Connie? Yes, we're going all the way down, and um, you want to go darker as you go to the bottom because you don't have clouds on the ground unless okay. it's fine. Of course. Unless you're up in the, all the way up in the sky. Right. Ooh, even a darker blue, huh? That's okay. Um, Rhonda says she's tired. This is all good. Thank you for updating us, Rhonda. Awesome. <laughs> Charlotte says she's also tired. Oh, not me. You're welcome to go to bed. No, no okay. <laughs> I no, love the shades of blue. Do you want to show Connie how what you've not done? Yet, so I'm not, done blending. not yet. Okay. Do you want the bigger brush to blend more? Yes, please. Okay. All right. Here, take this because I think you could probably blend right. all that down. Yeah, I'm I want to. I know. I'm going to use it down here. Okay. No, just start blending. I did want to tell you guys, when you're painting with acrylics, you I'm going to show you the difference between a, a brush. Okay. So see this brush here? See how it's not real super, super soft? What's going to happen is, is it's going to, it's soft, but it's there's others that's even worse. What's going to happen is it's going to leave lines all over your your painting you don't want that you want the soft ones and i'll show you this one is a soft one this is really soft and it doesn't leave lines on my palette i don't think no i think you don't want the, the lines on the palette yeah yeah that's good oh baby satisfying i'm just gonna dip into your paint well i don't you have a lot of paint on your canvas, baby. Um, I'm definitely noticing that because I'm using, like I have I have a variety of paint brushes. Some are more expensive and some are less expensive. And the less expensive brushes are definitely firm. And the mm -hmm. more expensive brushes have like a definite like softness to them and they have more bristles. I can feel them. Right. Like there's more, there's more substance to them, but they're softer. Mm -hmm. And I can tell when I'm using the different brushes that uh, you can't see the strokes. Right. Okay, so you can see the, how much darker my bottom is. Now, I am still putting some light in there just because you're only looking at the sky 
when you behind the um behind the trees the trees but um you don't want it as light as up here right i'm gonna get us some i'm gonna get us some regular white acrylic for the now when in utah whoever's ever been in utah or montana or idaho the sky looks like this dark blue in this that's the way the sky always looks unless it's foggy or or uh um they can cloudy Rhonda says she's gonna watch brenda because she's not mean to her which brenda are we talking about there's more than one monitor's market she's not mean to you I'll send her. I'll send her a message and make sure. Rhonda, I am never mean to you. I'm not mean to you either. I don't agree with them that you're a troublemaker. I think you're a little angel. You always have my back and protect me. Okay. And of course, as you can see, my painting, my background painting for this one is completely different from my other one. Which Connie, is, I'm always gonna we have gotta to stop and we gotta dance. <laughs> oh my gosh, Rhonda, thank you. Rhonda, you're thank amazing. You. Thank you so much. I, I, I can go like this. I can't stand up for that. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> she said, oh. it's already beautiful, Connie. Charlotte thank you. Live, awesome, Charlotte. Can you please hold up your painting and show them? Because Charlotte is doing a really good job. I'll, I'll hold it up. Ready? Oh, kind of like a beach. She's Ooh, I love it. That is mm -hmm. awesome. Very nice, Charlotte. Very nice. Mine is not great, but you know I'm not a painter. You know what? You're doing fine. You'll be surprised. Connie I knows. Connie knows I'm not a trained artist. <laughs> Yeah, but you you did fine. Yeah, it looks great. Okay, so oh, um, Dee's here from Designer Loft. Hi, Dee. Hi, Dee. I always love when Dee pops in. I miss you, girl. We used I to see Dee. Dee every week, and now like we hardly ever see her. Um, you know, uh, I always consider myself a maker and not like an artist or anything like that because I really a am a crafter. Like yeah, I craft. I can I can craft quite a bit, but uh, I don't have like these the 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 training like a lot of the artists on here who do. You're doing good. You think it's a little too much water, Charlotte. You have a little too much water. You're a kid. I'm an adult. <laughs> well, I'm a kid. Okay. I think that that is going to be the end of that background. And as I said before, I am going to let it dry a little bit before we start so many strokes. on the virtual table. Oh, she wants to show you. Charlotte wants to show you hers because she just finished blending it. Yeah, that looks awesome. That Does looks it? like, you know what that looks like, Charlotte? Charlotte, would you like to know what I think that looks like to me? That looks like a night. It looks like it's going to storm, and it's a beautiful sky. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. That was so nice. Yes, now, I love I, that. I'm going to magically turn my... Why isn't mine turning magically like yours? I don't think that's fair. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. I grew her in my stomach, so I DIY'd her. So <laughs> hypothetically, that's my painting too. I'm just yeah. kidding. You didn't paint on me. I would paint on me. I love you. Um, Rhonda says beautiful. Yes. Okay, actually, using this bigger paintbrush did make mine look a little bit better to blend it. So here, let me yeah, show okay. you. I blended mine a little bit more. Oh yeah, I like that. That looks good. Um, let's let ours dry a little bit and we'll chat. I'm going to let mine dry just a little bit and I'm going to get us just some plain white acrylic paint. Yeah, just let it dry. Let's just let it dry for a little bit. Yeah, the, the uh, acrylic paint is going to go on it better. Yeah, than the gesso. Yeah, yeah. 
Jesso. Or or the Wait, what uh, did I just say? No, I meant Jesso. I didn't mean Jesso. I meant then the um Hemi, the Yeah. I knew what you meant. No, I what? What? the gouache paint. Gosh. I almost put white in my I almost put blue in my white. Whew. I'm glad I didn't do that. Did you guys just freeze up? Oh, they just froze up. They'll be back. That's not good. I hope it's not me that's froze. Can am I still here, guys? Okay, you should be able to hear me now. It's because this phone, uh, you still can't hear me? That's weird. Can you hear me now? Oh my gosh. Sorry guys, I am trying. Okay, I am back good. Okay. Trying to get this camera back on. <clears throat> I don't know why it shut this one off. Don't know. Ouch. Okay. Okay, good. You can hear me. I'm, up. I'm opening up Instagram so that Sarah needs to send me a message. She can. What is going on? Hmm. Okay. No, she didn't. She didn't get mad. Um, for some reason, my phone is not recognizing the... Ah, what is it doing? It won't go to screen yard. Oh, there she's back. We're back, and the and that same thing that has been happening before, Connie. Yeah, my phone, my phone for the painting went out at the same time. Really? Okay, so I feel like I need to have my computer looked at because it's happened. Yeah. Are you there still, or did you freeze again? What is going on? I don't know. I don't know that it's happened on other any other lives. Did it happen on my live? I have to think about this now. Okay, let's just, I want to see. Um, Carmen is here. Oh, she couldn't hear you, but now they can. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My computer does this thing where it just says it has to close and, and oh my, okay. Oh. Are you doing the mushroom collab, Connie? No. What mushroom collab? There's like this thing where it's like mushroom decor because, you know, 
mushroom decor is like on the list of like Pinterest, like top 2023 decor trends. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm not doing that. <laughs> well, I have these little wooden mushrooms from Woodpeckers that they sent me. You probably got them too, didn't you? Yes, I do got, I do have those, but uh, yeah, no. Do you know what um, I think I'm going to do? I'm going to make them into like cute little characters and I'm going to like really coat them really well in some spar urethane and I'm going to make them for like out in our fairy garden. That works. But I don't know that I'm going to put them in the house. <laughs> wow, I'm creepy about that. Oh, but yeah, like mushroom shaped lamps and stuff like that is on trend. That's yeah. weird. Isn't that crazy? Mushroom shaped lamps are weird. All right. I found some white acrylic paint, but I'm trying to shake it up because it has not been opened in a very long time. I don't know what's going on with my phone. Let me get the chat up. Is everybody still here? Let's see. Yeah, there's there's nine of them. I'm sorry, guys. Julie says, really? Mushrooms? Not this chick. I'm going to comment. Can I press comment? Yeah, you can push this comments. We, this all happened right when we were waiting for our paint to dry. Okay. Well, yeah, I know. I was almost like, well, it's okay. Because we really were just going to, I was going to be hunting for white paint. Yeah, Ooh, I had to. This almost dried. Wave it in front of that. I had wow. To. I am so glad you, Charlotte asked if she could come and paint for your lesson. And I'm really glad that she did because her painting is really beautiful. Yeah, she's doing a great job. There's a lot of paint right here. Yeah, so just, just let it dry because you don't want it to get into your wipe. <laughs> Rhonda says, yes, Julie, the mushrooms are everywhere. We are surrounded by fungi. Yeah. There's one thing I like about mushrooms, and that's to eat them. I don't like decorating with them. I do like mushrooms, too. Yeah. I like them in just about any way you can think about it, but yeah. not to decorate. Julie, are there different size mushrooms in um, the Dollar Tree, or is it just the little wooden ones? Because I have those. I'm just curious. They have the ceramic ones, too. You know what I got? I got some resin molds, and I was thinking about putting fairy lights in them. Cool. I mean, I oh, thought it would be cute, like kind of fan, like um, like fairy decor, you know, like fairy light thing. I think it would be cute in Charlotte's room. Yeah, um, I ordered two oh, gallons of resin yesterday, and part of it's going to be for my island. I, you're filming that, right? Oh yes, I am. I can't process. Wait. I have to, um, what I'm going to be doing is because you can see the screw heads on the outside where I hook the side on. I'm going to be unscrewing them. I'm going to drill a little bit and put them inside. Then I'm going to putty it all up so the whole thing is smooth, sand it really nice. Then I'm going to prime it and paint it white. And then I'm going to sponge the paint on it to make it look like granite to, to uh, sort of match my my other counters. Are you going to build a frame around it before you do the resin? No, I'm going to put plastic down so it drips. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. You know I know you can do, you can do, if you do masking tape underneath, you can peel that away and Get well, a clean edge. I, I also can take that top off and take it outside to the garage and do it too. The thing is, is there's dust out there because it's top. The top, I just have to unscrew some screws from the bottom. About oh, I think there's maybe six or no nine of them. I can it's unscrew those done. too. It's almost dry, baby. Okay, let's see. All right, our, my background is dry. Charlotte's is almost dry, so we're ready for steps. This is just random clump of paint. Yeah, I'm going to see if it's a little heavy button. handed. I was trying to open this white paint from yesteryear. Yeah. Wait, why, didn't you, why didn't you just use the new paint opener? What's the new paint opener? That grandma. That you took from grandma. Huh? Huh? Then you got from grandma. No, that's for cans of paint. It's a can. You know the, you know the thing, the openers? Oh, like yeah. I have like 10 of them. 
I know. Well, I only have one of them that I can find, and it's at the school right now. Yeah, she froze up again. What is going on? Okay, this is back on. Nope, now she's gone. Jeez. Okay. Okay, she should be back in just a minute. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Hi. Hi, Tammy. Okay. Oh, all right. Sarah should be back in a minute. Um, my painting is dry, so I'm going to go ahead and get my white paint on the um, palette so that I can start the trees. Good, you can hear me. All right. So, hoping I'll get right back quick. But I'm going to go ahead and start at least the one tree. And I just go straight up. This is a fairly straight tree that's going to go pretty much straight up. It's going to go off to one side a tiny bit, but not much. And the, all the trees are going right off the canvas. Oh, Sarah, come back. So I'm just widening it a tiny bit after I get it. Just so that it's not too skinny. And this is just white apple barrel uh, paint. There. Hi, Sherry. We're waiting for Sarah to come back. So hopefully she'll make it here quickly. Let me see if she's left me a message over in Instagram. No. Okay. So. <laughs> that or she has to reboot her computer. I'm not sure which is which. So, okay. So now I'm going to do my second one. And this is a much fatter one. And it is going to bend a little bit. And at the bottom, these two are like almost touching. And it, the, sec, the third one is going to bend the other direction. Let's check. Let's see. No. Okay.
Sorry, guys, I... I don't know if she is or not. If she's getting them or not. I know it's cold here, but it's not... There's no, like... It's not even that windy here, and it's definitely not any ice. It's just cold. But this weekend, it's going to be up in the 50s here. Okay. Well, this one looks really weird. I don't like it, but... Oh, I can do that. I can send her an invite. Let me... Let me grab the... Oops. Oh, there she is. She's back. I'm just going to tell her if we go oh, off again. I can't hear you. Sarah, are you muted? Hey. I can't hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you, yeah. But we can't hear you. Okay. Um... That's weird. And I went ahead and I put my burnt, my uh, trunks in. You can go ahead and do yours. Okay. Just kind of fixing a little bit. I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my trunks in. Okay, but I want to make it rainbow on the other side. Rainbow trunks. No. Can you guys hear? Okay, they can hear you. I can't. Okay. It's my problem. Oh, let's see. I'm what sorry, Connie. On? If we if we drop off again, I think we might just stay out. I don't want to disrupt your live. Can you hear me now? I can, can hear I, you. I can't hear you. What is going on? So I'm gonna do rainbow for oh the my black gosh. Part. I'm gonna do rainbow for the black. Do you want me to leave and come back in? Oh, she's gone again. But you guys can hear me, right? Okay, I'm going to have to put my earbuds in my ear. I don't... Okay. I may hear... I am going to hear a... Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me now? You still can't hear me. Yes, you can hear me. Okay. All right. Sarah, are you going to be able to come back? Okay, so I put black on my uh, palette, and now we're going to be making 
all of the lines on the birch tree and I just kind of scribble them a little bit on each one on the sides and I just kind of make them kind of messy. You don't want them too uh, perfect. And you just have to keep, you know, you don't want them all to be exactly the same. Some of them can reach to the side, um, some not, you know, some in the center, and you're just going to do that, okay? And Royce is here. Hey, Ron, can you feed him? He's right here. Sorry, guys. Yeah, you got to feed him. I know he's telling you. Are you hungry? <laughs> Sorry. Are you hungry? You didn't tell me. Sorry, Royce. <laughs> I'm watching my show. I'm so it's okay. Sorry about it. So birch trees are very, the bark is kind of flaky and peels off. And that's why you get um, all these different like flaky colors. Now I'm doing black, but I'm going to also, I've got gray and I'm going to be doing some brown as well on it just because there's different colors. And there's like little knots and stuff and i'll be putting the knots the knots in as well so that's the starting of that one and then we'll go ahead and start on this other one and you start from the uh, very bottom now some of this paint is not completely dry so it's picking up some of the white and that's okay if it does So with the way I'm going to be doing my lives, I'm going to be getting uh, some artists, some different artists to come and show us different techniques. Maybe some I don't know, or maybe some that I don't feel as confident uh, to teach as I do others. So, as you guys remember what I put in that last one, I'm, I'm not doing it on this one. I'm going to do it on this side, this one over here. I put that one, that little design of the heart in. I'm so sad that Sarah is not in here. She so badly wanted them to, to follow along. I hope a lot of you guys are following along or that you'll come back and um, do it. Uh, you'll watch it and do it, you know, in your own time and not when you're um, watching live. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Oh, good, Julie. You know what? It's always, it's fine. To, I mean, you, if you're not perfect, you know what? I will never call anybody's painting ugly. Never. Oh, she? there she's back. Come on. Yeah, you're back. There she's back. Hi. <laughs> I just didn't want to be too disruptive. You're fine. Coming in and out. I feel bad. No, no, you're fine. We're having an issue, and I think it's because we use the gouache paint that our white paint. Okay, you use that for to try and get your white 
I'm going to use this one. And just try, yeah, just try not to use any water. We're having our, our blue is getting kind of into our white. Yeah. Okay, so Mama! I just did my little heart. I did a different uh, tree this time. I wonder if you could get Danielita to come and do something. I know she hasn't been doing much. I can, I was going to ask her. I don't know, but I can always ask. Yeah, okay. definitely reach out. I mean, she's 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 an, she actually teaches art. For, That's like uh, she does junior for high, work. yeah, for junior high kids. That's so cool. And uh, uh, Jackie Burns, she used to teach art in school. Oh, yeah. And I feel like she's getting about ready to come back and start making again, don't you think? Oh, I agree. I'm going to get to see her when I'm in Utah because she's coming to Utah the same week that I am. Oh, and yay. Yeah, so we're hoping to, there's only one day that we can meet up because I'm only going to be there literally uh, five days other than the two days of traveling. So... Who else are you going to see? Mainly just family. Um, I don't think I have anyone else planned. I think it would be too hard to meet uh, Emily because she's down in Utah County. Now, Julie, she lives in um, the, way. the Salt Lake yeah. Valley. I haven't even talked to her. I mean, I don't know. I know I, my date, my my week is really packed because zaylee has got her performances. Oh, okay. And yeah. Candace has her, uh, birthday as well that same week. So I just, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, um, what is going on. But when, when Jackie found out, I'm like, but I'm not going to get to see you. And she goes, but I'm coming. So, yeah. That's uh, that's awesome. I'm really glad because I know that uh, she's really missing friends. Yeah, she's she is. She's kind of. I mean, she doesn't have anybody but her her family there. I don't think she has any actual friends unless she's made some new friends. I mean, well, hopefully she has. I mean, listen, there's there's things you can do when you move to a new area. They have like activities that you can join but you you know you really do have to make an effort right and you know it's hard when you get to a new place to like put that effort in because you know right but okay so i'm done with my black so now i'm gonna start uh putting the some brown and some gray into these um Rhonda says you need one of those V openers from Pampered Chef. They are wonderful. Do you guys want to know what I use to open up my cans in my house in my kitchen? Because every electric, okay, first of all, every electric uh, can opener I've ever got breaks. Every one that you sit and you wind breaks. I use a P38. Julie's Julie says her her painting looks ugly. Well, I Julie, you I want to make you look better. I just want to make you feel better, so I'm going to show you my painting. Yours looks fine, Connie. What? You're just being nice. No. You're going to get your sweater and your painting. Do you guys think that every single one of my paintings have been perfect? Yes. No, they haven't. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't been. I mean, I've been painting for a long, long time. We're talking over 50 More. years. Yeah, I kind of like how like you have texture to yours. Yeah, I would I rinse your that. brush because I'm going to rinse mine too. I'm going to get some more of this paint out, okay? Do you want some more of your white? I don't like the gray I brought in here, so I'm going to use some uh, white and black and mix my own gray. That's the other thing I'd like to teach a lot of different techniques on blending. Like mixing. color, like color theory. Yes. Yeah. I think color theory is really interesting too, because I think a lot of people don't realize that how you can like kind of mute colors is not necessarily what they would think. Well, and also a lot of people don't realize, okay, 
before I say anything else, I'm going to ask a question and I want everybody to answer in the comments before I tell you the, tr the, the right way. All right. And we'll whisper what we think it is. Okay. Okay. Is black all the colors mixed together and make it black? I've got two no's. I think Sarah's saying no as well, because so I can hear her as she's talking to Charlotte. Uh, we were whispering. Um, you're in my ear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we were whispering to her also. We were, we were very, very quietly whispering. Yes, I have really good hearing. So <laughs> you're right. I've it's been told nuts. that I have stage whisper black is the absence of color so what is white because every so white is all of the colors you're right white is all the colors what but if you mix all the colors together it won't equal white okay so in the sky look in the, stage, if yeah. you look in the sky at night it's black it's absence of anything there's nothing out there it's just absence White, it's a hard concept to understand, but white is all colors. Yeah. I can, I'm not a scientist, but I know that's, I know that that's true. It is. And I, hey, uh, Charlotte, I will find you that information and I will send it to your mom and she can show it to you. Um, I think actually what you meant to say is you will call and her yes. mom put you on the phone with her. Yeah. Okay. We'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> so here you know, I I'm not getting in the middle of this explanation. <laughs> well, I am putting uh, some gray around um, my, not just around, but in between and kind of in the, the splits of the black because the, the gray is going to give you a highlight. And then I'm going to add a little bit of brown and tan in there as well. Now, this is an actual painting, but I want to get more into the techniques of the painting. The actual, like, okay, you do this, you hold it this way. I know there's a lot of different types of painting. Um, I want to do some abstract. I want to do... Oh, I, I love landscapes. You you know that. Um, I want to get into all that kind of These different are stuff. Good. These are really good paintings. They're actually really easy. You just blend. You what? Um, beaches. Yeah. Water. Uh huh. Those are really cool paintings. She said, and she they're said they're easy that, also. Oh, you, why do you think they're easy? Because all you do is blend. You just keep on blending blues, darker and darker and darker. Oh yeah. What kind is that? She said uh, painting beaches, she thinks, um, is a really cool painting te uh, technique. And she said that it's really easy because you just keep blending darker and darker colors out to the ocean. The ocean part, but what about the um, beach? Yeah, what about the beach? Like you, just add, you just add tan. Yeah. That's it? That's it? I, yeah. Well, Kanani, I think she's putting you out of business. Good job, Roy. How are you? She knows a lot. She does understand a lot. There's a lot of other techniques, like how to put the, the I paint on. I have to by artist. Charlotte did take art lessons from, uh, like, an artist that's in galleries and stuff. Her Montessori teacher. Look at Charlotte added branches to hers, Connie. Awesome. I like that. Interesting. But we need to start adding oh, this black. This is going to be the smallest. Branch. I think you should let your white. I want it to be rainbow. Okay, well, you can add rainbow. How about if black you... spots? Yeah, the black spots that Connie's doing, you can do rainbow, but you have to let the white dry. Ah! Are you adding another tree? Yes. Okay. It's going to be like 20 minutes. Oh, Connie. Zaylee is a really good artist, too. They're going to be off the side. 
I'm letting this, I'm, I'm going to let this painting dry so that I can add the bark. You know, birch trees are my favorite and I would love, I think Connie, you saw my comment where I said, I think that just learning to make this, I think this would make the perfect backdrop. I mean, you could use this as a backdrop for another painting, like for, like, let's say you wanted to paint like a bunch of pumpkins, like how cute would this be as the backdrop or like a fall scene or whatever. Or if you wanted to make a cute sign yep. and have like a saying on the front, I think just like learning how to make these birch trees. I just think birch is so cute. Yeah, I like birch trees. But um, Rhonda just said, uh, I'm sorry, but I think she's my favorite now. Um, okay, so Ron. <laughs> oh, oh no, I put my painting in the paint. Put the back of the painting. Okay. So, um, hold on a second, Charlotte. Oh no. You know, Charlotte's been asking me to make a YouTube channel, but I, I don't know. I want a YouTube channel. Well, my grandson is. I'm a my I'm grandson a is. And nine. I will have labs with Bryce. My grandson's nine and he got a YouTube channel. Well, Connie, yeah. let's talk about that later. Yes. Have a YouTube channel. No. Mm. So Charlotte said, well, Rhonda said, LOL, Charlotte is too adorable. Mm -hmm. Liz says, that is beautiful, Charlotte. And Rhonda says, I'm sorry, but I think she's my favorite now. And I just need to let you know, I was Rhonda's favorite and you took Rhonda away from me, Charlotte. Unacceptable. You're, well, gra I am You're grounded. A, but You're I am a mini me. I'm, an enemy and I'm, I'm a mini you. Mini me? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, okay, okay, okay. So it's basically you. Well, Ashley, Ashley is my mini me and Zaley is, Zaley is Ashley's mini me. So you guys are all the same? Oh, Liz just said oh, my yeah. aunt has a three piece room divider with trees, one side summer, one side winters. That sounds really nice. Yeah, I agree. I'm like picturing it. I kind of want to see if I want to see like a photo of it. I'm going to have a break. Um, okay, go take a break, baby. This needs to dry anyway. Okay. Um, Charlotte's taking an artist's reprieve. <laughs> okay. She's doing some yoga oh. stretch moves. You have blue paint on your belly button. I saw, <laughs> I saw the blue on her belly. How cute <laughs> is she? I was like so excited when she was like, Mom. Can I paint with you and Miss Connie? Yes. And I was cool. like, yeah, sure. Why not? And of exactly. course, the stinking computer. You know, this laptop is relatively new. I feel like I bought it like a year ago. Do you want to go lay down, honey, for a little bit? You have you gotten, care? have you had all of your um, updates done on it? I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not a computer guy. I don't know all the stuff. Do you know how to go in your settings? No. I, do we have to do the? No, no, we're not going to do it. You need to take it in. <laughs> I'm just going to take it somewhere and have them do it, honestly. Okay. It's worth the money for me not to have to, like, hurt my brain. Okay. Connie. Yes. Mine is never going to look like yours. Well, it can. I feel it like I need to be in it, person. You know what? It doesn't, it's not supposed to look like mine it's supposed to look like yours yeah and everybody i would like for you to send me pictures of yours if you do not want to put it on uh social media so everyone else can see it i want pictures sent to my email wait um, what if go ahead say your say your email my email is c dot home at gmail.com and i will put it in my the description box okay but connie i mm -hmm. have a question for you let's yeah. say i wanted to post on my instagram the painting that i did tonight how like what is a good tag that i could put where you could see it and maybe anybody in this chat could also go look for that tag and they'd be able to see anybody else's painting how about if i do this i will put a tag in the description box you guys Use that tag on everything you want me to see from all my lives 
if you try them out or do anything. Yeah. You can do it on Facebook. You can do it on Instagram. If you use that hashtag, Connie will be able to see it. Yes. No and where all of us and all of us, like I can also search and see like, cause I yes. think Julie Bay is painting along. She is. And I think so is Jill. I'm not sure who else, but hopefully more. And even if you don't do it right now, maybe you can do it, you know, tomorrow or whatever. You know. By the way, um, Sherry from My Three Sons. Yes. She sent me, so she got her own booth, you know, um, like in the antique shops, how they do the booths. Yes. And like, I'm just so happy for her because I know it's like something she's been wanting to do for a while. She wants to have a channel. I really want her to try doing a channel, but you know, baby steps, right? Right. And she has been sending me pictures of the things that she makes. First of all, she was setting up her booth the other day mm -hmm. and people bought stuff like as she was trying to set it up. That's then awesome. she sends me a picture of this like antique chair that she put like something gorgeous on the seat. It's uh, beautiful. Like, oh my goodness. That so she's cool. going to have a ton of success. Like, oh my goodness. I she wish there was booths and places I could take my stuff too close here i mean there's anything, nothing, there's nothing i'm thinking close. i'm thinking about opening one near me yeah i don't have anything close here at all we don't have stuff like that that i've been able to find but i think i could open one and i think i have enough reach where i could i could i could get enough people to fill it up well yeah because yeah, you already have a following because of your um I've had a couple businesses. I had my yarn shop for 10 years, my balloon company for three plus years. So right. everybody kind of knows me in the area. Right. So okay, I do so like I'm going back in with the tan. And the how did you, of, how did you go in? Like my white is still a little wet. I didn't wait for it to dry. It picks it up some of it and it makes my black more of a gray and that's okay. If it, right. if, it, if it mixes a little bit, that's completely okay. Because you can all, if you want it darker, you can always wait. And so I started on one and then I moved over. And mm -hmm. once I got back over to this one, then it was pretty much dry. Can you but tell me what exactly is the motion that you're doing to make those moves? Is it just like shoopy, shoopy, shoopy? Uh, let me show you. Let me see if I can show you on here. Okay, so I just put like, okay, first of all, I had a bigger brush. This is a tiny brush, but I just kind of go like this and I'm just going back and forth and like that. Yeah, just, just little tiny little things. Some of it is really fat together. Let me show you. Let me see if I can get this. Yeah, can you go close? Zoom uh, in. I can't zoom in. This is how I zoom in. There you <laughs> oh, it looks totally different up close than it does from far away. I know. Wait, do you do your darker colors or your lighter colors first? Dark. Okay. The after, the before, no. Yeah, I do the I white first. black on my brush. Here yeah, we go. Are you ready? Once I do the black, then I go in with, I did the gray, and then I did the brown, and now I'm doing some tan. That will give you your highlights um, everywhere because you don't want your black to be completely black. Cause if you look at a birch tree, you can see it curling, you know, and it's different colors. So you, you definitely want um, all these different colors on here. And I'm just going back and forth from side to side. Daisy, all I know with the computer thing is a couple of weeks ago, let's say four to five, maybe eight weeks ago, my computer started just turning off while I was going live specifically with connie right connie yeah when you were um right if you got back from uh your mexico uh, christmas, yeah your christmas yeah trip. and i thought it was because it wasn't like fully charged but that's not true because um the last time it did it it was like fully fully charged right now it's plugged in and it's fully charged um so that's not the reason so i don't know what it is um when i was live the other night um with tammy it didn't do it so I don't know what the problem is. Sherry says, I'm just going to get off and just stencil. You know what? You don't have to get off, but stenciling is okay too. Um, oh, hi, Oopsie Daisy. I didn't see you were in here. Look, look. 
see you're doing fine. Don't tr try not to make them uniform. You don't want them to look the same. Trust me, they are not uniform. <laughs> They're not even close. Some of them you want just little lines. Others you want to uh, have it a little bit more uh, clumped up. Yeah. So that you can do it. And you also, I'm doing, let me show you. Okay, let me try and do this while I'm holding this so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, see right here on the side here? I'm putting a little bit of a, a, a light line down. That's going to give you um, the variation that's going to look like it's rounded. So it's not flat. Oh. But I'm not going all the way down. I'm just kind of spot hitting it on there just so that I can, it shows that it's a round uh, tree. tree. You don't want a, a flat tree. Right. I've been doing some really, really, really fun crafts the last couple of days. Oh yeah, like what? Well, I'm doing the five under five and they don't what? look like they're under five bucks. I want to do five under five. Connie, I have to tell you this and I'm going to send you a picture of it later on. I my found I was like looking in my mom's basement because my little brothers are rock climbing guys. One of them's a rock climbing guy. The other one's a whitewater rafting guy. They're in their 30s. Wonderful. OK, when they were younger, they put up this thing in my mom's basement that had like climbing handles and stuff. And I was down there and I was like taking pictures of it because I'm taking it and I'm going to I'm going to do something where I paint a mural and put the climbing holds up for Charlotte to kind of like have stuff to do inside because it's like it was 12 degrees today. Like, yeah. sorry, we're not going outside, you know, and um, and I look over and I see this old wooden gumball dispenser. Oh, from when I was a kid that my dad used to have on his desk. And I go, mom, can I take this? And she goes, sure. That's awesome. And so I took it and I'm going to, I, I like took it and I was looking at it and stuff and I took it apart a little bit and I think it's really simple to make. So I'm going to try and like, I have it. So I have it, but I also think I could make one. Oh, and I just feel like it would be like a really, hard. they're not that hard to make. It's they're like a square base with like a glass, like fishbowl mm -hmm. thing. And then it has a little screw that tightens and it has this thing that pulls out. I mean, you know, honestly, you can, use, you can also on. use, you get a, a pot. So let's say you can. I've use, done those before. I have a bunch of those. So you have the cut, the bottom part as the top on the fish bowl, And then you have the bottom of your pot upside down for the bottom of it. When I show you what, what I'm talking about, you'll understand what I'm saying. It's like literally... It's a different, it's like a woodworking thing. You'll, you'll be, you'll, you'll like it. You'll like it. Cool. I can't wait to show it to you. Awesome. But I want to like figure out, like, I, I think I figured it out and I'm going to, I want to make it, you know? Yeah. Sherry, I saw what you meant. <laughs> wait, what did, what? I was thinking she was going to stop and do stencils. No, she's talking about her chair. Her, her, <laughs> the chair is so beautiful, Connie. Like I would buy it in a heartbeat. I can't wait. You know, Honestly, everything she's making is incredible. And I'm like, how have you not? I think it's intimidating. People are intimidated to start a channel. I think once you start going, all of a sudden, you're welcomed with open arms. Everybody is like, come on in, you know? And then it's not as scary, maybe. I mean, at least that's how I felt. Yeah. Um, Rhonda says, or it's haunted by the ghost of a fireman that's jealous of Connie. Just saying. Talk about your computer. <laughs> you guys are silly, first of all. And second of all, just so you know, like when Charlotte was like, I'm going to take a break, I saw her go in her bedroom, get her bunny. That's like her bunny. Mm -hmm. and she went in my bedroom. So I think she might have been tired. Her bedtime, we usually go to bed at like 7 30, 8. So I think she was like, <laughs> she got tired, but it's cute. And she always smells its bottom because, like, a really long time ago, I sm I sprayed my perfume on its tush. <laughs> so when she sleeps, she smells its bottom. She says it smells like me. Isn't that cute? Yes. 
Kira, my oldest granddaughter, the one that's sick, she's upstairs, she's 16. When she was a year old, I gave her this lamb. And it was like one of those tummy laying ones, super, super, super soft uh, uh, fur. Yeah. And, um, when she started talking, she called it Lammy. She's, you know, Lammy was the name of it. Well, she always puts it up to her nose and she rubs it. Yeah. Her nose on it. Okay. So a few years later, um, she lost it. And so I went and got her a dog. So um, she named it Dog Dog or Dog. I can't remember. And she did the same thing. Well, then she found Lammy again, but then she completely lost Lammy. And she moved places and she didn't have dog. And I found him in a box in my house. So I have him. Well, this Christmas, I was going to get her Christmas present. And I found this little dog that looks just the same. It's just a little one. Aww. She opened it up. She rubbed it on her nose. So That yeah. is the cutest. Okay, so I forgot to bring uh, red paint to sign. So I'll be signing in black tonight. I think I signed black. Paint. I don't feel that this painting needs a signature from me. <laughs> Here's. I really wish I. Honey. It looks fine. It does not look fine. Stop it. Let me tell you one thing about your. Painting. It looks like it looks like I'm trying to make it look like bricks. Okay. I am a terrible. Okay. I'm do terrible. Do me a favor. Make your edges more jagged so look what i mean let me see if i can get this close enough see these lines yeah. they're really jagged that's what you want so you're putting little you're making them almost look like little uh tic tacs you just want to take a little jag on each one you're, you're they're fine you can change it it will just it will end up looking more like a um birch tree if it's more jagged because yeah. it's peeling if you look at a birch tree it's kind of peeling and you want it to be all jagged yeah don't be sad i just wish i was talented like you connie well you can do things i can't do yeah one day i'll find something i can teach you to do <laughs> wouldn't that be fun sure um, I'm sure Rhonda, you Rhonda says um, that she would sub for, to Sherry to uh, my three three sons, and she says I don't just uh, subscribe; I also share your link everywhere. Message, text, lol. I'm I like love her. I love her. You must love her too. That is true, Rhonda, and so is like uh, Liz, Sienna, Bria. Honestly, all of our girls that are always in the chat with us and. Any and guys that are in the chat with us, they are so supportive in like every way, right? I, I agree. yeah, I mean, honestly, you couldn't ask for a better group, yes, you're right about that for sure. And there's my nine, my name signed, and I always put a little bit of uh, um, water in my paint where I'm gonna paint, where I'm gonna sign my name, but. I'm going to sign this Rhonda Eversole. Okay, Simply Enjoying Crafting said, I had to come and see what kind of nonsense everyone was up to tonight. Haha. <laughs> Very funny. Welcome to the chat. Um, we are just doing a paint along. Connie is an amazing artist who has a lot of experience, and she is teaching us some techniques. I am not a good example of learning, but she's actually a very good teacher. Okay, so Oopsie Daisy says, Sarah, scroll up. Let's see. I'll do it because I'm done. She's still painting. Is it hubby says it either got too hot or you have too much stuff on it. What? Okay, maybe that's not what she wanted to do. <laughs> okay, that's our business here. Hubby can help if he wants to call, email me. Okay. I'm not sure where. Oh, about my computer? Oh, oh yes. It might yes, be yes, too yes. hot or I have too much stuff on it. That's actually good advice. Thank you for telling me. I can remove some stuff off. I have some um, like hard drive things that are like, I can like unplug. Right, Connie? Do you know what I'm talking about? 
hard drive things. Yeah, like they're like hard drives, but they're not. They're like you can like boop 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 boop, and then it goes on the thing, and then you can unplug the thing. You're talking about an exterior hard drive. <laughs> or or you can put them on flash drives, the little flash drives. Yeah, to take stuff off the computer, right? Yeah, but um, yes, you can. I bet that's them. what it is. I because of like videos and stuff, like trying to like do that. Like I yeah. have too much stuff on the computer. Even my even my phone that I use every day, I have a a, a disc card that goes in my phone, and I can move everything over to it. Cut it out. So I can hold a lot more on my phone. Stop it. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little card goes into the top of my phone. And if it gets too full, I can take it out and, yeah, jump drive or, or external hard drive, jump drive. There's all the little flash drives, whatever. But this is a, um, it's a little card that goes into my phone. And if it gets too full, I can take it out, put another one in because that little thing can go into another little card and I can put it right into my computer. Connie, do you mind if I take a second just to give a little update on my channel since pretty yes. like most of the people in here are kind of, we share? Yes. So I have been cutting back on my lives, which I'm sure some of you have noticed. Um, Connie and I talked about this and I really wanted to do more content where I'm really sharing projects that I'm doing in my everyday life, things that I'm doing for me and Charlotte, things that I'm doing maybe to make income to help me support me and Sh our Sh me and Charlotte's lives, things like that. And I like love doing the lives and love being silly and everything like that. But it's I I feel like I really feel like I'm being called to like do more videos and not as many lives. So I I want to do live. I like I love interacting with everybody. So I'm still going to do lives but they're going to be a lot less than I used to. So I hope you're not too upset at me. Oh, she's always I, welcome online. Yeah. And I, I'm, I love to come on Connie's when I can. And also I will definitely be doing lives, just not every Tuesday. Like you're used right. to. Right. And I am, like I said at the beginning, I am going to the starting in February to the second and the fourth Tuesday. Yeah. Of every month. Yeah. Unless something comes up. I mean, if I'm out of town, like, you see, I, I go out of town. Actually, we, honest, Connie, going, you know what we need to talk about? What? Well, next Friday. Wait, is it next Friday? The 7th. For the closet? Yeah. I'm going to do my thing that I'm going to be doing for my closet this weekend when it's 53 degrees. I already started my closet. Okay, so Connie and I... <laughs> And two other really awesome YouTubers yeah. got together and we are doing what we have dubbed a problem closet collab. Okay. But it's just the four of us. I mean, we just thought, let's just have a fun, small thing. Okay. And mm -hmm. so we're picking a closet that is just giving us grief. Okay. Well, I, showed, I showed Sarah pictures of mine. Yeah. She's like, it's packed to the brim. I'm like, it sure is. But Connie, yours is not like a disaster. Like I sent a picture of my closet to Connie and it was like, just like, <laughs> there's like a painting, <laughs> like just like everything. But, but what you can't see in my closet is, okay, so the closet I used to have lots, <laughs> lots of room. I had yeah. two rails on both yeah. sides. No, I can and, see that. It doesn't look disorganized though. Well, what happened was, is when Ron had moved his stuff down from the closet upstairs into our closet, I had to put a second rail uh -huh. in. Then I lost all my room for my shoes. I feel like so we, need to, in a, we need to purge a, Ron's wardrobe. <laughs> he doesn't have that much clothes compared to me. Honey. <laughs> he has half of the, on his side of the closet, he has half of the top and half of the bottom. I have the other half and I have all my sides. So I have, it's literally packed to the ceiling. Wait, Lulu's treasure trove came on. Did you already say hello to her? I didn't know if she no, was. Hello, there. Lulu. Hi, Lulu. She says, hi, at Connie's Creations. Just popping in for hellos and well wishes. I love that painting. I was just wondering today what that tree was. I have one in my backyard. I'm thinking that today. 
awesome. Now you know it's a birch tree. <laughs> So oopsie daisy. Yeah. Um, Connie, you're going to do that closet, right? The clothing closet. Yeah. I'm going to get my, I'm going to show you how I'm going to get mine. My yeah. Mine is, like, mine is like my, in my sort of like my hall closet, kind of like downstairs my house. Mm -hmm. And it, I'm, I, we kind of dubbed it the Amazon closet. Cause it's where like Amazon packages go to die. Like with, and then they never get like, when I was unpacking the closet, I was like, Oh, <laughs> oh, I forgot I had I forgot I ordered that. It was like, oh Christmas. But um yeah, so um now it's like amazing. But I ordered another fixture from Amazon <laughs> um to go in there because I was like, oh, I think I can fit like one more set of shelves. So I'm mm -hmm. really excited. That's coming Thursday. Oh, you know those shelves you can get at Target that are the wire ones and yes. those squares and you put the the uh uh cloth boxes in yeah 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 i picked one of those up and put it up on my shelf uh-huh up above all my clothes so i have one of those plus stuff on top of that yeah it's and then at the end between on the wall i have a bucket sitting there with toys in it for my grandsons and then all my sheets and blankets and pillows are sitting on that so I had big, do you guys ever have those? Um, I feel like they had them at like Ikea and stuff, but they're like the big, like kind of plastic bags, but they're like kind of square and they zip closed, but you can kind of see in them. They're like heavy duty. Yeah. Okay. I had four of those full of yarn in that closet, pulled those out. I don't want to give too much away, but I emptied out my bookshelves in my family room and organized stuff and it's so pretty i mean oh, yarn you know i just yarn reorganized like, my yarn i just um, reorganized well, i just reorganized some of my yarn oh my goodness i did like an overhead of me like sorting it in like speedy mode i know it's called time lapse but isn't speedy mode a better way to say it and um it yeah. it's just so it's fun like i yeah. love yarn yeah, I do too. Now, I my biggest thing is my fabric. Down in the basement, I have, I think it's 15 huge totes full of fabric. Because I sew. I'm, I always find I'm getting fabric. back into sewing. I'm going to get And back I always it. find fabric that I like better than what I have. Connie, we can do something together where we're doing some sewing. Because I want to get back into sewing. Mm-hmm. Oh, yep. There's the little doggos that are coming up to go to the bathroom. The little, of course, Royce has to go out with him because that's his best thing. Royce. Well, yes, you, you know what? Um, so that's going to be on February 7th, just so everybody knows. And yes. um, we'll definitely like promote it ahead of time and let you guys know. But is it's it the 7th? It's, what day is it? It's on Ooh. the 7th. That's what we said, right? Yeah, what day of the week is that? I can't remember. Tuesday. Next Tuesday? Is that I'll right? Just, I'll just look really quick because I can't. No, it's next Wednesday. I don't know. The seventh is next Tuesday. It is. Next yeah, week. so it's a week. So hurry up, Connie. Okay, hold, hold on a second. Yes, Ron. Ron, you can go to bed. Okay, you don't have to wait for me. Good. Can you handle that um, gate? Nope, it's really easy. What? Good night. Ron, Ron's going to bed. He's like, Tony, how much longer? I'm like, Ron, you go to bed. You don't don't to worry bed. about me. I'm having fun. <laughs> um. Oh, did you see who's in the chat? Uh. <gasps> Tiffany! Yay! Hello. Oh been so long i know we oh, get oh and her yeah. hair is red now At least that I, she said it's like orangish red so how excited okay so tiffany used to come and go live with me and connie like tiffany me and connie we we were like buddies the three of us together so tiff took a little hiatus she's like been just crazy work life she takes care of her grandbabies or grandbaby Charlie, like 
every day, works her little butt off. But I'm so excited to tell you guys that she's coming back and I cannot awesome. wait. Yes. Awesome. I, I, Connie, when I saw her say hi, I was like, oh my gosh, Connie's going to go crazy. Uh, yeah, because it hadn't shown up yet on the I chat. No. I just saw it. Welcome back. Look, everybody is so, oh, look, we've got, good evening, Tiffany. Hi, Tiff. We've missed you. Hi, Tiff. Hey, y'all. And then it's, uh, welcome back, beautiful lady. So see, Tiff, you were missed. People are like, where is Tiffany? Exactly. They're always asking us. But yeah, so I'm yeah, the she's coming back. We've right. missed you. Well, tonight was super fun. Honey. I'm so sorry. Tonight was super fun. Thank you so much, Connie. And I'm sorry if me coming off and on was disruptive, but no. I really enjoyed doing the painting, especially having Charlotte next to me. That was so fun. It was fun. I know. She, I knew she was starting to get tired. But she she definitely was. It. You know what? She can finish it and then you can sell it to me. She's probably like half asleep. So I'm going to have to scrub that belly tomorrow. I'll get the blue paint off. I saw it when she stood up. I'm like, oh, she's got blue paint on she her belly. She's got blue paint on her belly. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to go and put her to bed, okay. so I'm gonna say good night. But I, uh, I that's made me happy seeing Tiffany. All right, well, you guys, she said she's time. editing a video now. I can't wait to see it. I'm gonna watch I it. Can. I'm so excited. Awesome, that is so good. Let's see what did Lulu say. It's really great to see you all tonight. I have to go for now. Okay, well, we're all gonna go too. So yep. bye bye, and you guys all have a most well. Sir, how about you say bye the way you always say it? Yeah, I just want everyone to make sure that they challenge themselves and step outside their comfort zone and try something new. Yes. And you guys um, have the most blessed week. Don't forget to call somebody and tell them you love them because it might be exactly what they need to hear today. As well as you guys don't forget to be the Bible that somebody reads today. Bye, guys. You guys have a great week. We'll see you in two weeks. Bye-bye.